I can give you the name of a lover, name of a true love, future name of a future partner. If he's coming back or not, does he have a D sounding initial in his name as well like you? He does, yeah. Like a Daniel? It almost yeah, sounds like yeah. Daniel. Yeah. Is he Daniel as well? He is, yeah. Oh, there we go. Okay, we've got that spot on exactly. <laughs> so Daniel, good. Daniel and Daniel. Yeah. I think you're a soulmate in heaven, you two. Could be a twin flame connection, actually. Uh, yeah. Like yeah, he's a cheeky little thing, isn't he, though? He's kind of disappeared on you for a minute. He has, yeah. Yeah, he's, he's with family. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, yep. Yeah. And he's working on stuff. He's working on his life. He wants to get more money so he can get married. And he wants to travel as well. Who is your soulmate? Who is your twin flame? Who is your love relationship? How to go about meeting that person? You're not going to rush into anything, but there is a twin flame connection around you. Wow, this is fantastic. Brunette female, there we go. True love connection and she's a twin flame. And a twin flame is the highest level of relationship. So you can't go wrong with a twin flame. And um, that's a person you're meant to be with. And also anything to do with business decision, career move, career choice. I would like a reading on work, please. Love the show. Thank you. Bye. So let me just have a look around that and see what comes up in the cards for you. Okay. There is a man in power, powerful position who will be helping you. Okay. Feels like quite distant to where you're currently working. There's a move involved in the work. Okay. So you will be going to work somewhere else. Um, it's time to be asking for what you want and stepping up and going for it because I think you'll get it. It's saying to let go of control also around relationships and around communication. So don't worry if people don't get back to you on time, that sort of thing. I think people are just very busy at the moment around you. Okay, you've got a new passion coming into your life, whether it's a new love or something new. And this can often represent also a new child coming into your life too. So once again, I do feel there's going to be a birth around you of something new and fresh. And you've got a past life connection with this child coming in around you. So you're going to get a lot of telepathic messages with the child. It's funny how we, we're having this theme tonight, Tim. Yep. And um, I do feel the child's going to be a boy. Please have a reading on love and money. Okay, love and money, Judith. You're in a one vibration this year, which is very much new starts, new beginnings, and happy birthday to you as well, being in the month of Aries. So things are starting off for you right now. This is your first year, first month, and first year of a nine-year cycle. So you, if you're going to feel that things are in action and moving forward. These are your own mm. Amira cards. Yes, yes. How do you, is it your intuition that tells you how many cards during the reading to put out? Yes, exactly. I just often like to do a seven card story or a three okay. card story. Okay. Yes, a three card story is usually past, present, future. A seven card story usually tells a little pattern of what's going on. It's actually an oracle deck. Oracle decks are usually 44 cards or 45 cards. These are 44 cards. A tarot deck is normally 76 cards and they are predictive cards for fortune telling. They specialise in love and relationships, but you can use them in any area of your life and they're often very, very accurate. They're very, mm. very easy to use and a lot of fun as well. And they're very modern. I really want a general reading on my family. Yes. But I did lose a dog about four years ago and she just disappeared. Okay. Was, she, was, there, a gold, was there a golden Labrador in your family at all, Betty? Um, well, my daughter has one, but it wasn't the dog that we lost. Okay, but that one's still around you? Yes. Okay, yeah, because that, that's replaced the other one more or less. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a lovely, lovely dog, that one. Uh, was the other dog that was lost a black one? Yes, black and white with a bit of white on. Okay. I just, I just feel that um, the, the lost dog got into a bit of trouble and might have eaten some bait that was out oh. and got sick. Yeah, that's my yeah. feeling on it. Got into a little bit of trouble, went a little bit too far out of his jurisdiction and yes. I can just see him going under fences and things like that and going into the wrong farms. Oh, yes. Yeah, so I think that's what happened to him, I, I'm afraid, my dear, yeah. Uh -huh. and I do feel that's that he was... Possible, all right. I do feel that he was looked after, though, at, at, at the time. I think somebody did find his body, so I do feel oh. that that's... Um, that he's OK, you know, like, he's OK. You want to call me, and you want to call me now, and I'm here for you and only you, so please give me a call.